Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Good to see you all. I hope you guys are doing all right. Um, let me get some suitable music going. We're jumping back into uh, Scrapyard Engineering Scrapyard Engineers, the Splitsy's uh, scenario. Um, we were left off at the home, the second home we found. We were actually starting to build the place up a bit, get some power going. So uh, that's going to be probably the plan for today as well. Get the more power, get the battery sorted, because I'm not sure if all of them were connected. We'll just see how this works. Um, unuseful, by the way, good to see you. Let me just say hello to everybody in the chat. Domorn, uh, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that one. Domorn, <laughs> but I think it's Domorn. The morn, maybe? No, like the morning? Not sure. MSG, welcome. Style, good to see you. Josh, old explorer. Uh, unuseful, of course. Uh, Grill Bears and John Riso, welcome. Found your this channel just the other day. Loved the vids and my first live. Been here for a few hours watching the other vids till now. Hey, good to hear that. Nice to uh, be having a new subscriber for Space Engineers. Um... Has anyone ever been able to figure out this scenario? If you are in spectate, does it spawn for you or just a normal mode? As far as I know, it's uh, based on the character presence. Um, it could be that if you use a drone and you fly around with a drone, you can spawn things in as well. But I'm not entirely sure. As far as I know, you have to travel 6,000 kilometers. Uh, 6,000 kilometers. 6 kilometers. Uh, to spawn in new instances. That's as far... I mean, the standard settings. Grumpy Uncle, good to see you. David, welcome. Dom a Dom a Orn. Dom a Orn is how I usually use it, say it. I think I'm going to start calling you Dom. <laughs> From Dominic. Dom. Um, anyway, let's uh, jump into the world. And switch over. Um, what I've noticed is that if you're not careful with the scrap mod, let's say that you work with scrap and you work with, um, let's say, asserts or uh, Incom or all these other uh, MES packs, they might, Scrapyard might start taking over a lot of the locations that other things should spawn so sometimes you might have to clear up i think that's what i feel that might be an issue uh everyone says dom my middle son's name is donovan so they call him Don. <laughs> um all right we're here as you can see we left off at this place, perfect song, you know, it feels very homely. Welcome to uh, our place. Yes, uh, last week we managed to get the uh, first one going. And now we're going to have to look into if we have enough resources to continue doing that or we have to go and write for more. Um, are you using grabby hands? Yes, we are using grabby hands. So uh, I can't lift things up if i want to <laughs> average pilot welcome to stream thank you so much for joining and welcome uh, to the channel um and thank you for becoming a subscriber appreciate that all right let's uh clean no this this there all right just clear up a bit So, we're going to look into um, expanding this, but we will probably need a lot of motors, and I will not have enough. Because this thing needs six motors per piece. I got six motors. So that's not what we want. Uh, the reason why I want to do this, the reason why I want to keep a pipe working is so that I can 
always connect or expand on it without having to change the whole pillar later. So I prefer to have a uh, conveyor system that is underneath my um, uh, wind turbine, my uh, wind turbine, what you call it? I don't know what you would call it. Anyway, that's the plan. So I'm going to... Let's check what we have inside before we go... Uh... Uh, I'm playing on my own game tonight, so if I've got you in the background, no worries. Uh, uh, Stephen, welcome, by the way. Good to see you. I hope you're doing all right. Am I? Okay. So, if I want to make another one, I need one more metal grid. Do I have any metal grids in here? No. Did I have... I'm pretty sure I got more engines with me, no? I, I'm pretty sure I have... Ow. Uh, wait... Did I not have, like... I... You know what? They might be still at my other place. Okay, that's what we were doing. All right, all right, all right. I know what we were doing. I now remember. Um... Getting airborne, yes, it definitely makes a big difference. Uh, I got grabby hands in the weld pad mod. How do you line stuff up so easy? Mine just go crazy, no matter if I left click or not. Fun mod though. Um, there is two controls now. So first of all, I always put my tools away because sometimes you grind down by accident. So I just press R to pick it up. This is now just uh, hanging like a tether. If I press left mouse button, I switch between center and hanging. Uh, left, right, right mouse button. So this is like switching between taking the center P the, the, on the center or hanging. So center, then left mouse button, you press to hold, and then you use your buttons you normally use to rotate your building parts uh, the same way. Does that make any sense? Uh, by the way, you can also throw things away if you want to. That's by holding it and pressing left mouse button. So... I take this, I hold it with my left mouse button, and I press with my right, then I throw it away. Uh, welcome, Ogden, Raiden, good to see you. How are you doing? Um... I got a hydrogen tank ready. Right. I think we're gonna unload. Let's do that first. Let's unload. Go to the other place and pick up the motors. Because I think we still have motors there. Uh, how are you mac plated? What? Are you mac plated on these? Yes, you are. Auto lock off, switch lock, and then um, so I'm just gonna put these in the back here until we can uh, expand on this. Hey Frodo, welcome.
There is a northeast a scrap settlement. Hey, Frodo, thank you. Appreciate that. I, I started recording today uh, the second episode, which has uh, honestly gotten a bit out of hand. I'm going to have a struggle getting this into an hour. We'll see. I got I got carried away. Uh, what world did you start on? I start on Satrius. That's the same planet actually that um, uh, Splitsy is starting on. We did uh, Satrius on the making planet. We do still do Satrius on the making planet form uh, scenario as well, which uh, I really like this planet. Really good looking planet. And I'm using this one as well in my uh, playthrough um, Proxima Beyond. Oh, just wondered and looked up Dog Dragon Dog by the Lux Expo. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's pretty, it's pretty expensive, and there's a lot of hidden costs in the background, which is a bit weird for a single-player game, but okay. Uh, like a little cinematic, yeah, I, I did the same for my space uh, Escape from Mars scenario, which I live-streamed, but you can't find the trailer for it on my channel as well. Did I, I did like a, a separate trailer before I went live. Is that all? No, there's another car. Yo, James, welcome. Uh, John Riso, did I say hello to you? I'm pretty sure I said hello to you, but you know me. Uh, there's another one. South, southeast. Um, I'll just have to wait for these. I want to go and pick up the rest. We're going to go home first and pick up the other uh, equipment. We still have 14 hours of battery, so we should be good. Did I... I didn't. I didn't empty my uh, inventory. I'm not sure if there's still a container there. Uh, Dom... Honestly, I think it's actually not a bad idea making a large good rover that is just like a scrap mobile scrap base Because it, it does tend to becoming a little bit harder and harder to get like things to spawn in if you don't clear up uh, the builds around you So like actually roaming the planet is not a bad idea Is that the South Southeast one? I think so. Randy, good to see you. How are you? 
how is the music by the way just do i need to adjust a little bit or is it uh, okay Oh yeah, Dom, um, I added this planet to my system and then I changed the um, the mods that um, splits it did, so I was allowed to spawn at Satrius. This has been my first attempt at modding has been purely focused on the respawn ships. I got some metal grids in here. That means I can do another container. Which is not bad. Uh, music is a little quiet. Okay. Let me adjust that a little bit for you. Uh, that's the browser. Let me know how that sounds, MSG, and I can always adjust if it needs more. Alright, there's nothing in here anymore. There's no motors in here. Um, because motors are going to be what I need a lot. Conveyor is going to have motors, which is nice. As far as I know, everything should be dead now here. There should be no more power on you. You still have power? How? Ah, because my uh, my rover is attached. Okay, let me uh, re... Now you should be unpowered. Yes, okay, good. All right, it's time to start stocking. I might actually drive there and pick it up. Uh, let's... Uh... Wait, no, give me a second. There might be stuff in here. Uh, there's a mod pack on Steam that gives you all the planets. It's uh, in one Mac package. Are you talking the uh, Alcura or something uh, system? Uh, Grumpy? I think it's called Alcura. It's Major John's um,
There is there is two packs uh, that Major John made. One is called Alpcura, and the other one is actually a slight scenario. You have to make sure that you take the right one. Um. Uh, let's take this conveyor away. That's another six motors. And I think there might actually be motors in the toilets as well. Large field tubes. Yes, please. Am I... I sometimes feel like I'm hunched over because I'm feeling like I'm walking too slowly. Um, so I got two survival kits, so we should be good for a while. Uh, let's take this battery. My plan to was to put this battery here, but because we don't know which direction it is... I'm gonna have to wait. Can I get this uh, Mac plate to connect? There we go. Oh, we already got them. Uh, yes, we do. Okay. Hey Ramesh, welcome, how are you? After a while, you don't care about these broken batteries anymore, but I'm just taking them with me. Just in case I need them. I think that might actually be a car container I just picked up. And this looks like a programmable block, maybe? Or is it the battery? Alright, so this is all the small... Grut. Let's drive backwards and pick up the rest. Hey Kenny, welcome. Uh, yeah, the smooth voxels does indeed make it easier, but on the other hand, I do like not having the smooth voxels because it adds, adds the extra challenge, especially with the rover. So you have to really be 
you know, careful. Otherwise, the smooth foxes makes it very easy uh, to drive around. Although we still broke our, we still broke our um, rovers quite a lot when we did the uh, stream together with Bob. Um, I think the Mac plate is blocking me now. Yes, okay, it doesn't matter. Let's put the Mac plate somewhere where you could grab it. I need steel plates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we broke one. <laughs> um, yes, last week we broke one. Lose to not turning off silly parachute block. More blew up. Yeah, it did blow up. I really didn't expect it to blow up, though.
It always seems to be easier to pull things. Alright, now, uh, what is this? I don't want to keep this. I don't want to keep this. This I might want to keep, but I need to hack it first. Um, I prefer not to have anybody sing. Uh, vocals. Some serious arm to throw at that so far. Count Olaf. I was thinking about somebody uh, else <laughs> when you said Count Olaf. I was thinking about Sesame Street. <laughs> There we go. So the only thing left is the... Um, the wind turbine. It circles the planet and smacks it back in the... That's sorted. <laughs> and that's it, no? We can leave this place behind. Let's see if we can find any motors in that other one there, just before we leave. There are some pipes up there, so... There's always motors and these things. Motors and computers. Motors and computers. Large steel tubes. These that's the things you always need. Oh, here is, oh, okay, let me just drop this in my car and very strong to be able to lift that turbine. I've been training. I'm full I am full Let's see if we can find some more motors but <laughs> yeah does look weird there's no motors in here there's no motors in here there's no more motors here there's some small steel tubes nothing in here
There's some windows up there. Is there motors in here? No motors in here. Windows, nothing, nothing. All right. All right. That's it. We can go. That turbine looks weird. Yeah, it does does not really Mac plate. It's because the hitbox of this thing is outside. Which is a bit of ridiculous, but yeah, it is what it is. Alright. We can remove home. Or not remove. Let's just... Uh... A home away. A what? Away. And then enable, disable this. Starting position, SSE. I think we can remove that one as well for a second. There we go. Let's go. Uh, Hadamon, welcome. Good to see how are you. I don't think there's any shared inertia tension on my uh, pistons of my little crane in the front. I'm doing good. I'm doing good, Sir Herman. Wee wee. I like this little buggy with a huge wind turbine on it. <laughs> I slow down a little bit. There was something popping up in that direction there. Might be over the ice. Because it was like 4 kilometers if I'm correct. cannot do this because of the, uh, the turbine everything that is not connected to the uh, rover as like snap to it will cause your camera to bug out Do a little jump. Whee! Uh, I think I cannot actually... Can we connect to that? I don't think so. Because I need to build a little platform to grab that. Okay, we'll do that in a second. Let's get the uh, the stuff inside. Uh, you know what? Let's just do N. Control panel. 
Let's just do all mag plates. And say... Unlock! <laughs> We're gonna start taking the small stuff. Clive, welcome. How are you doing? Good to see you. We'll sort that out in one day. Not today. Or not, not now. You never know. Today might be the day. Um, I said hello to Clive. I did. I'm pretty sure I said I said hello. Pretty sure. It is a great game for sure, Frodo. I really enjoy this game. I was like, why can I not lift this higher? It's because I didn't... Alright, let's put that on the side. Uh, can you use it to control a group if you select one member? Um, I don't think so, Clive. Um, to be honest, I always have to kind of figure this, these things out still myself. If I move and point at the wheel, it does say group though. Let me just check. If I go to here... Or is that is that built info? I don't know. I'm kind of for I forgot it. I'm pretty sure you can see somewhere where the group is if it's grouped or something, but I need to check. Um, I was really impressed with the continuous mining mission you built running on all event controllers. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I was thinking about making a video about it, but I need to I need to have an updated version because there are some little details I need to improve on. Yes, I tested Starship Simulator demo. What's that? Um, I want to turn off auto lock so I can pull you over this. Uh, auto lock off. Auto lock off. Auto lock off. I think it was here we blow, blew up our uh, engine, no? Was it not here we blew up? We rolled it a little bit too quickly on this hill. Wee. 
Uh, you see the group in the start circle, but I cannot make changes to a group setting. Need to use the menu for that. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's okay. And I think you can do some smart things with buttons and stuff as well to get your group working, but... Hey, Emil, welcome. Was it an earth shattering kaboom? There was a kaboom. It was not really earth shattering. It was heartbreaking, though. Not too quickly, it's okay. Just relax. There we go, three engines. So now I got uh, three survival kits here, which is, I think, more than enough. We're just going to build one of the survival kits on the, a small grid. And then... Um, so we always have a respawn point. But that should be it, no? Oh, there's another piece there. Uh, you go there. Now, I need to double check how much no! height we need. Yo, midnight. So, this connector... To be honest, this connector could reach it now, seemingly. Really? Really? That doesn't make any sense. Wait, let me just grind this away there. Well, well, well. All right, let's just uh, do that. Um, let's... Uh... I'm going to put you like this on the recharge for a moment. And let's fix that container. Then move everything over from the container away uh, from the... Uh, we need one metal grid. So I'm going to steal a little bit from you. Yeah, a little bit, I said. There we go. And then we're gonna weld the rest up again. So now we got three containers, which is not bad. Did we call this? Yes, R and R. Okay. I... After a while, when you're playing like three different uh, playthroughs, it's like, did I do this? Okay, I just need the cargo containers. Uh, Beaver is sabotaging me. As soon as I hit enter on the ship, my PC rebooted. 
Uh, if I only could. If I only could have that power. We got 67 motors. I don't believe you. So we definitely can build some more uh, conveyors. As the wheels are actually on a pretty good this, uh, height, we might just work with a half block here. I'm just gonna... How long are you? One, two, three, six blocks. One, two, three, four. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be... Now that I'm thinking about it. Can I? I can. Can I do you? No, because I think you are going to go higher. Okay. Okay. Let's do a few more half blocks like that. That should be enough, no? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, six is already with the conveyor, so I need to go one more block forward. Um, the problem is, if I'm going to use the half the block like this, we're going to have some... I don't really like this angle. I think we can have a better angle. The last time we made that, we did this on a sort of acquisition. No, what did we call this again? Rules of acquisition, that was what we called it. It's by using a hinge. Um, I need a hinge. Give me a second. Here. Seven. And I cannot put a hinge on you because the effing thing is a half block.
Yeah, I, I know you can free place them. I just need more precision, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get that precision. No, nope. I'm going to have to free place them. So normally what I did on the other playthrough, I put the hinge on top. Then I could use my hinge to actually make my perfect slope and then use it as a guideline to make the slope I wanted. But yeah, let's... Um So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put one of these slopes here, because that's not the slope I want to follow. I need to uh, set my toolbar better as well. So we don't want to follow that angle. We want to go a little bit more flatter. The only problem is if I try to snap it there, it's going to snap there. And if I do this, what are you going to do? Are you going to follow that line or are you going to race to there? Eh. You're actually pretty lined up. Just need to go a little bit to the right and a little bit forward. Well, it looks like I'm getting to that edge, don't I, Ramesh? So, we need half a block to the left. Or half a block to the right. Let's do that. And do we need to shift forward? So, maybe we should do it here. What? Did you snap to it? <sighs> Just need this angle. Need to go half a block forward. A little bit out. Need a little bit more forward. But I think it lines up pretty okay with the uh, edge. No, let me just check here. So we need to go a little bit to my play forward and then a little bit more back. You see what happened? It just snapped to it. Piece of...
Did you snap to it again? It did. So, um, uh, you could grind one of the half blocks, place a square block, then the hint set, and, uh, uh what? <laughs> you know what I could do? Let's put a rotor here. I'm just realizing if I do a rotor on the side, then I can get my angle properly. If I put a half block, would that be better to measure? is pointing up it should be pointing down so Can I get my grinder? Thank you. Wait. Why am I... What's this? What was... That was insanely weird. All right, so let's start with this and let's uh, unlock the hinge. So if I do block off. Uh, I think you are blocking this now. Right, and then if I put my block back, let's take a um, half block. Doesn't look 100% perfect, but it does 
look like it would do the job. If I go a little bit higher, so let me turn you on again. And let's uh, do minus so I can lift you up a little bit. So, I think we are at the right distance now. We just need to go a slightly higher than what we have. Um... I think we could live with that. But we are not in the right distance though. Okay, we need to do this again. But we are proper. Let's uh, line you up properly with this uh, with this line. Rotor displacement. Now, the question is, could we use a, um, or do we, sh do we just shift it slightly? Let's shift it slightly forward. Do this again. So, this is too far. I'm going to use my, uh, micro movements of the mouse like that and we're going to shift you like here now i want to check something if i would weld you up Will you have less collision or not? No. Can I check if the uh, blast doors have less? Yeah, they do, but they also thicker. could use blastors instead um, as long as I can get them a little bit lower or 
level with this here. Let me see if I can find something level. Hey, John, welcome. How are you? This game has a mind of its own. <laughs> no. I say no. <laughs> Can I have a cookie? Hey, Daivonte. Good to see you, man. How are you? merge blocks you don't need merge blocks as long it's merging the effing ground I thought blasters were supposed to have less collision. No? Yeah, I'm not working with that. Alright, so we just do a plate then. I think if we do a plate, then that might work. Or we do a plate on top. If we do a plate on top, it might actually work as well. No, we cannot do a plate on top. We need to follow. We need to keep a plate. So if I do this and then we go to plate six and then we find a half plate. I'm not 100% happy with the, uh, the gap, but if I weld this up. No. But we could put a plate on top of that, no? Because it's not going to snap. If I put a um, plate and I take six. Alright, so we got an angle. I think this is good. Inventory full. I 
I think we could shift it a bit forward, but on the other hand, I'm pretty okay with it. And also, like I said, uh, these things might not be permanent, so... Hey, Amish, uh, hero, welcome. Uh, Shadow, welcome. How are you? Good to see you. There's a lot of... That's a long ramp, by the way, but yeah. Uh, Nunya, did I say hello to you? I think I did, but I'm not entirely sure now. It's a long ramp. But one thing is for sure, we won't break our over. Hey, Shadow, I did indeed. The only problem I have with the uh, Hubble Gum one is that it's a little bit too blurry when you zoom in. Um, I have already started recording the second episode. I kept the dark one just to uh, see what happens when I add lights and stuff. And I can always change it to the third episode, but... Um I actually love the uh, Hubblegum one. The problem is, I will have, I will do a lot of zooming in this playthrough. We might still shift over. I think we could actually have done it even better if I used a piston on a rotor. Then I could have angled and adjusted. Yeah, yeah. Um, to actually have a shorter run. But I cannot do chat. No worries, Clive. No worries. Thank you for still being here. It's only an OSHA violation if there's any OSHA around. There's no OSHA around at all. This is not an OSHA re regulated um, galaxy. Right. Uh, if I have later some metals more metal uh, sheets I will close this off on the side but for the moment we'll just leave it as it is Energy so critical. Nya, 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 nya. Um, I don't want to be wasting too much of my
Yep, I'm pretty happy with that. All right. Uh, no, you know what? Let's do something else. Let's check my batteries. And let's group these as um, R and R. Safe. And then group. Put this on uh, recharge on off. I think I actually have some hydrogen tags in this. No, did I not? Hydrogen. Nice, nice. That's not the button I want to press, but okay. R and R. Safe. And now we can put that as well. All blocks, hydrogen tanks, group. Which then can be put on stockpile on off. And then recharge. There we go. Five power, maximum one point two megawatts. Okay. Oh, ow, uh, okay. This, this is pretty tight here. Um, I might have to make a little ramp to get out of this place. Um. Ah, oh, great! I love this storm. He said sarcastically. So, the next thing I should do is probably focus on getting a temporary, um... R&R, &R, said the Articulate Pirates. <laughs> uh, welcome. Uh, Pess, good to see you. How are you doing, man? Um, we're gonna... Lock link this to a, uh, a rotor temporarily just to have I'm just gonna put that rotor in there for the moment and then let's add a small head Then we're just going to add a merge block. Small one. One here and one here. You know, I've seen a lot of people making... Um, Uh, bolt turrets with the hinge and I've seen them doing a lot of uh, what you call it um, oh this looks not well it doesn't matter a lot of work to get that small hinge in there I got a little trick that I don't know if anybody actually tried that <laughs> There we go. So, we got the survival kit. We can respawn here. That's the only thing we can do for the moment, but that's okay. Um, so, I've seen a lot, you know, when you're doing the, uh, the hinge. Like that. Then you take the center out. Let me just weld this up. And then they bring in whatever to small to bring in that small little head in here. The the small rotor head. If you just attach it and say I want a small head, it gives this one. I just put this on 90 degrees. 
whatever, 90 degrees. Let me just stop here so I can put it uh, in place. Then I go to my blocks. I just do one. One, two, three, four. I think that should be enough. Then a Mac plate. I might have to lift it up again. Now bring this back to 90 degrees. Doesn't even need to be on 90 degrees. It just needs to be here. That way I can grind away this one. And then I put a small head on that. Uh, with a block, of course. I need to put a block so I can get it in the center. Block. Hinge heads. Then I say attach. That should now be attached. And then I can just grind everything away. And that's how I like to do the uh, ball turrets, because that's much easier than having a ship floating about or letting your thing drop in. And now I can just move this. Um, you're very good at this. <laughs> Guess I need to make a guide about this. <laughs> I think that's the simplest I've figured out to make a, a ball turret. Um, just that you know, it's starting to get hot again in uh, Malta. My God unbelievable how much heat I'm already starting to generate we don't need a t-shirt I need a straight junction now we need to make sure that we have eight blocks in between so I'm gonna do this I think Cannot withdraw steel plates, interior plates, small steel tubes. What do you mean? Uh, am, I, am I not connected? <laughs> well, uh, what? There we go. That, that, that's going to be so much different for charging my battery and stuff. Eh? Okay. Hand sanitizer. <laughs> Thanks so much for subscribing and welcome. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then here I'm going to put a um, conveyor this time because I'm going to go backwards as well. Although we might have to go one step up. So what I'm going to do, we're going to do a T. Like that. 
and then we can make our next T to go that direction or even higher we'll see one two three four five six seven eight and then a um I think we could do an elbow here. Like that. Have you tried using small pistons with big heads? It's very stiff and compact way of grid size conversion. Small pistons with a big head? I have not. I think you can actually do super greeting now, but I'm, it's uh, experimental, if I'm correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think I will have enough for all of it. That's the question. But if we could do a second tower, that would be nice. On this, we're going to put a uh, four-way. Like that. That way I have different directions to go from to extend my network. I have no more motors. That's how quickly they go. Yeah. Well, I don't need a connection yet. I just need to be able to place a block on top. So one block on top and then the rest is going to be our... Um, a turbine. I think I need to make a little ramp on this ship, on this rover. What? No. Alright, so we got uh, this prepared. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the bottom, and that is gonna snap on that. Although, I think. We're gonna put the merge block on this thing anyway, so let's take this off. I think we could actually over go over there. That might actually work. So let's see. No, we cannot. Okay. Um, yes, I hacked all the turbines. Otherwise, I cannot weld them off. One. 
One, two, three, four. I think. Yeah, I thought so. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whew, just in time. What I find funny, sometimes this jump hardly works and then the next time you just jump over everything. Energy low. Yeah, I check in a second. Uh, front single axle and double rear axle is ideal for heavy loads while on paved road. Dual, ac dual front axle and dual rear axle ideal for off-road applications. Well, this thing has been serving me pretty well so far. The advantage of being so pretty white, I've not have any issues with like having any danger with tilting over. Uh, I think our... Um our rover is getting a little bit older. Needs some assistance. Uh, ah, there we go. Can I crawl underneath this? I can. You need some blue pills? Yeah, it seems like I need some blue pills. I need to check something before we do that again because last time we made a mistake uh, we need a merge block on it so I can see which direction this thing is actually pointing oh perfect okay so that's the the right direction all right good Um, all right, let's check. So if I go with, let me raise my piston just a little bit. Uh, and useful. Have a good one, man. Thanks for jumping in. Good night.
move your face cam up top or on the other side i cannot put it on the other side if i put it on the other side it doesn't make sense i'm looking outside of my screen then I don't know if I put it on top if it makes any sense though. All right, let's see if we can get it up there. You can invert the left, right. What? You can invert the left, right of your cam. If I do that, then this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I'm going to have to start making perfect middle t-shirts. When have we expected you to make sense? What? When did I not make sense? I norm normally play games that don't make sense. You're you're confusing. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Might have to grind down some of my... of my piping. <laughs> I need some pipes. Uh, uh, I need some motors, I mean. Alright, get ready for the little uh, clang. There we go. Perfect. Turbine 2. Uh, I think the chat would be fine uh, with the backward t-shirts if we could see the build. <sighs> Give me extra work and stuff. You know what I should do? I should just make a double scene. Uh, where is my camera? Framed webcam. If I copy you and I paste you, right, then I minimalize or hide you and then I take you and then I go into my filters. And then we add a, um, what is it again? Scaling aspect ratio, maybe. 
if I do that, then I should be able to change the size. No. 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 Remove. Yes. I might just have to transform it. If I transform and then I say flip horizontal. There you go. And then I move me to here. There. Sorted. I can even do... Ah, look! <laughs> um, much butter. Much butter, yes. So now we got two wind turbines. Uh, as far as I can see, these are on the same height. <laughs> I like the double cam. <laughs> yes, they're on the same height. I think we're going to have to go and look for some stuff because I'm out of motors already. And I don't want to grind anything down for the moment. Did we have an O2 tank on this? We do. What is this O2 tank? What? Or is it just I said oxygen and my cockpit? Ah oh, no, I do have the vent here. Okay, I got the vent here that sucks oxygen out of the yeah, okay. Some rotors on the racks, maybe? Painting. <laughs> okay, let's let's just paint the blocks that I think I'm gonna paint. Okay, now I'm gonna take this color over. It seems to work better if you uh, go on your knees. Yeah, that's probably a quote. These batteries are not charging. I'm pretty sure that other battery is... Is it not linked? Oh, 
Oh yeah, you know what I need to do? I put, need to put glass on the outside so we can see the battery there. There we go. Uh, windows, I think. I mean you cannot withdraw. Okay. Yeah. So now we can see our battery charge. Um, let's see. Do we have motors? I don't think any of these racks had motors. We did put some stuff in those racks, but... Um, I think it's time to leave because the weather is perfect. I don't think any of these racks had motors and I don't know if that actually motor uh, racks exist. We could grind down the toilet, but it's okay. Battery's on 65. This goes really slow. Is it because some of the batteries were completely empty? Left. Recharge. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. This is fully recharged already. Fully depleted in 22 hours. Yeah, we have enough power. Um, um, there was South Southeast something, if I'm correct. Something is rattling. Hmm. Something is loose. No, no, sounds weird. By the way, welcome everybody to the sea. 59 people watching. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you for the 54 likes. I appreciate that a lot. <sighs> Wee. 
Okay, we need to be a little bit quiet. There should be something nearby though here, because there was a south-southeast six kilometers. I'm wondering if it's my lights that is making that noise. There we go. You're a likable guy. <laughs> Me too. Sit straight a bit. Thank you. Appreciate Frodo. <laughs> Frodo. <laughs> so, to the south, six kilometers. Having, have a wonderful day, everyone. Getting yelled at by a boss watching the video too much. <laughs> John, have a good one, man. Appreciate you being here. Uh, don't lose your job before the stream, man. He's lying. Uh, he's, he's not lying. What button was that again? I need to press to just reset your computer. We are at the end of March. I should check something. Give me a second. Ooh. Hello. All right. We are four kilometers. So it is like two more kilometers drive. Let's go around the mountain. We're not going to over that mountain. That was supposed to be a reply to Frodo saying you're a likable guy. Yeah, I know. I got it. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay. There's a little bit of a high jump. Well, maybe, Frodo. I mean, if you believe Midnight. <laughs> <gasps> What's that? Is that a bridge? That looks like a bridge with a truck on here. Noise. Okay, let's see what we can find here. Um. Ooh. What's inside? Uh, look at that. Two more. I think we got it. I think we got everything we need for a flying... We just need a battery. Okay. Oh, there's some car containers in here. All right. Let's see what we have there. Um, what do these can... Small steel tubes. Uh, no motors. <gasps> Blah. Okay. Can we pull you over? No. Alright, Steven, I'm gonna check again and see if I can find metal grids in here. I have not had any luck with this. Ah. Okay. Huh. okay. 
Light armor block, light armor block, light armor block, light armor block. I think the easiest way is just to take this whole thing with me and then grind it down in a grinder pit or something. Definitely heavy. The only thing that seems to be connecting that still is this hydrogen tank, so let's uh, grind you down. So control panel, this still has 5000, so that's nice, so there we go, that's what I needed, I needed to break this thing separately. Because now, I hopefully can rotate. Oh no, you know what? I cannot rotate this because these engines are so heavy. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Come on, buddy. <coughs> no. Keep it out for the last time I played. There was, I got a lot of them, but it has been updated. I think so, because I have not found a single grid in the uh, testing scenarios I'm doing. I'm not sure if you noticed, but the starter over also changed. It's no longer, a, there's no longer a light on it, for example. Uh, weapon rack is no longer there. Inventory full. I'm wondering if I could just take this whole thing with me. Why is there shared inertia tension on my hinge? Mm. I think that might be what was clanging. Hmm. 
Uh, west southwest abandoned settlement, five kilometers. Hinge lock off on. No. Okay, let's just leave this for a second and let's see if I do a little bit of this. Alright, so we got some uh, thrusters with us and haven't seen you coming across any of those yet. We found one aeroplane, Stephen, last uh, stream on the snow um, and we found like two thrusters on that and that's where I actually broke one of the thrusters. Uh, this game looks so brain taxing. Oh yeah, pass. I am playing a scenario. While Space Engineers is definitely not a simple game this is more of a challenge trying to figure things out and as i am not able to weld or uh, make things myself i need to salvage them so that makes it a little bit more extra extra fun the main source of grits are the big cranes yeah i uh i might actually have to unlock that others my wheels are not going to be able to turn anymore but that's okay could do that <laughs> this is big brain bro big brain frodo <laughs> motors
Uh, Spitz did a good job on those 18 wheel trucks. Uh, are these the ones that you mean that I'm taking down now? I don't think so, no. You're talking about something else. I definitely have not come across every instance yet, so it's definitely great to get so much variation. I'm just having a quick peek to see if I can find any uh, metal grids, but I think Splitzy has been doing a lot of updating and taking away them, these uh, metal grids. Because I did not find a single grid so far in any of these, and I've been actually... I've been actually uh, putting some of these in like a welder pit and I didn't get any grids. There's batteries underneath there, but I don't really want them. Ah! <laughs> Are there power cells in there? No? Two power cells. Alright, so... We'll sort this out in a second. There was more on top there. Uh, let me just grind these down. I want to see if there's any displays in this. No displays. No displays. Okay. These small car containers, I don't see a real point to it to keep them. I don't know. Have you found larger, larger small grid hydro tanks? I found one. I got one at my base. It was actually at the base I landed at Nothing.
Um, that's it, no? Of this place? Sent that grid and orbit, yeah. Well, it's not going in orbit, though. keep parts for a small merge block actually what i normally do atone is actually built the merge blocks on it but i didn't do it this time i built the merge blocks next to each other so i can just grind them down if i need them okay let me just grind this away let's see how this deals with it As long as we can turn our wheels, we should be good. Um, I don't know if I found an O2 generator yet now. I'm not sure. I have to check. I don't think we have an O2 generator yet here. I know where to find them. I mean, I know which to look for. Energy. No. Meh, 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 meh. All right, so. Are these? No, they are not. If I would do this one auto lock, you are locking to that one. Okay. Did I not have another small block here? No. This thing is very sensitive <laughs> to rotate the small block go really quickly compared with the large blocks. Tangle loose. No. That yeah, definitely blocking my wheels there.
What did you find? Uh, we got a uh, hauler with two uh, engines in the back. We're gonna go to south southeast now for uh, about five kilometers. Um, that should be about 11 kilometers from home, I think. Because we are not driving straight away from it, we're driving like in a diagonal. Something is clanging, it's bothering me. <laughs> South, South, was it South, South, West or South, South, East? It was South, South, West. South, South, West. West, South, what? What? Okay, it's there then. Excuse me. Thanks, Frodo. Is it that one? Looks like it. West, six kilometers. Okay, something else popped up here. So we have something at the west side as well. So by the time we're there, it's gonna probably be west northwest. Is that a helicopter or a ship? Or a, a plane? It looks like a helicopter. That's pretty big. Might be a building. That's pretty big from here. I could actually do this. Eep. Then check my... Um, let me just put my uh, searchlight here and say control. If I now do five, we can use my searchlight to... That's another bridge. More engines. More engines. I don't think so, though. It looks like looks like a uh, red jalopy. That's what happens if you don't watch where you're driving. <laughs> There's another survival kit. I don't need another one. I think uh, if you're playing this in multiplayer, that completely changes because then you can you you can say like you know what I'm gonna keep this to trade. But in single player, you can like yeah, f this. I don't need it.
Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. So that would def. Hot for demo. Um, I would advise definitely once you get to space to get rid of that jet no jetpack uh, uh, mod because that completely ruins your travel in space. Uh, no medical components, just one steel plate. There is a beacon on it. I think I'm gonna take one more beacon with me. It's always good to have a few extra to add to whatever. If you have a ship or a little drone or whatever. So yeah, this is a survival kit without any use. Uh, another card container. Which is nice. We can use it on our, on our uh, flyer. No cockpits. There's a container there. There are some conveyors. There are a little bit motors in here. So that's good. Let's check this container. What, do, what is it going to be? Metal grids, batteries, batteries. So, it's good, but not, like, to say, like, this was an amazing haul. A container is always nice, though, but... I need computers to be able to hack this, no? But is this not already a... There we go. All right. Now, every time I'm checking the bottom of the, the rover to see if there's any uh, metal grids in there. I think there might be, like, sneaky ones in there. Like, one or two. Which is, should be, like, a little surprise when you grind the whole thing down. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to wait for that. All right. By the time I'm home, everything is gr grinded off. <laughs> this should be far enough now, no?
The jetpacks in scenario are nerfed not off the work and space, but they are a little they are very slow uh, uh, at tennis. Extremely slow. And once you get to a certain speed, it takes forever to get back to the other side. And I decided, yup, they are not installed on the... Uh, I'm not installing them for the other playthrough. It's insane. If you have to dive... You know, avoids gunfire. Forget it. Okay, there's a lot of uh, settlements here. Let me just... Uh... That's uh, south. Three kilometers south. Hey Piggy, how are you doing? Good to see you. Oh my god, is that another bridge? Seems to be a highway here somehow. <laughs> no, it's not a bridge. I think it's just a... Uh... Jetpack's nerfed because of Kapak? Because he's uh, crashing into people, is that what you mean? This looks like a railroad with nothing on. Na, na, na. I got a feeling we were here already. Did we take a train down? I don't think we did. Doesn't look like there's anything important here that I need to have. This is all pure steel plate, so... Alright. Let's go to the, the south. Seem to be aiming at something. No, not anymore. Okay. 
All right, there we go. On the other side of the mountain there. Three kilometers. Let's go and check that out. I think then we're going to go back home. Did we check how much metal goods were in these... Uh, It might be good to find a crane because a crane would allow me to fix the um, the motors, uh, the the hydrogen engines, the hydrogen, the atmospheric thrusters. We got two here. How many do we have home? Five? No. Home. We have three, four. I think I might be three. Although it might be four because we were pretty happy last time until we broke one. Da -da -da -da. Any kabooms yet? N no. What do you mean, yet? So if we have five, that means we have forward, backward, left, right, upwards, which should be enough. should be enough to make a drone or a, a ship a flying ship he did stand the rover up on his nose yeah that was a weird weird thing uh it's been giving me expanse vibes ah you mean like the uh yeah i know what you mean Is that there? Is it? Is that it? Is that all?
Gesundheit. Well, it's large steel tube, so we cannot complain about that, so that's always good. There must be metal grits in here, I was sneezing. After the, this planet fall, I'm very allergic to uh, metal grits, so there might be... I have to double check. All right, let's take this one with us. There we go. Guess we could go home now. I think we're getting to a point where I can start grinding down hydrogen tanks. I think we have enough to... to start something. There's a lot of... I think I found a lot of like... Uh, a lot of what you call it, like loose pieces, like rovers, bridges, but not a lot of like sheds and buildings. All right, 12 kilometers, let's go. Beeble Hives. Can we just uh, cross over there? I think we can now. <laughs> Bye, boy. Ah, oh, this is deep. All right. The question is, where are we going to drive? There, I'm assuming, and then to the left. Because I don't want to drive over the mountains. So, one day, once we get these engines running, we won't have to bother about mountains anymore. We. Oui. I 
I think of all the things to find, I think hydrogen thrusters are pretty challenging to find in uh, this one. Okay. I love how this thing is just swinging in front of my... Um At your first home, there was an electrical tower 100 meters or no, uh, these towers are random spawnings as well. Uh, they sometimes spawn near a building or they just spawn single. But I already was there, so there was uh, nothing but just the electrical towers. Uh, the, the, the spawning in this, like this setup is not logical. So it's not like if you follow the power lines, you get somewhere. No. Look at that space calling for me. There's one thing for sure after one of these uh, uh, scenarios is that you are appreciating your refiner and your assembler much more. <laughs> hey Paul, welcome. Good to see you. How are you? The advantage of a rover is that you can definitely carry more home than compared with a, uh, a, a ship with thrusters. I mean, I think we will be able to carry like 40,000 with one upwards thruster. So that means we could be carrying almost what I have. Almost.
uh, abandoned settlement. Northeast. Yeah, northeast. Uh, imagine if refining can work only on the surface, but plants have no precious ore like gold. Ooh. I mean... Like... I mean, I understand trying to make that challenge, but I'm wondering if... Let me think now. I do like the ID, though. There we go. Perfect. So... I'm trying to just to figure out what would be the uh, mechanic behind it. Why can you not? Refine outside. Like, does it need gravity? Without gravity, your uh, thing doesn't work. But if you then build a gravity generator, you should be able to do that. I don't know. I am a, I'm a sucker for uh, this kind of thinking, Alexander, by the way. It's like... Sometimes things need to make sense for me when I'm trying something. And I understand it does not always work like that for a game, but... It is definitely a very intriguing uh, concept that would be cool to implement that you cannot build um, a refinery outside of planetary atmosphere or you cannot build the large ones because you will have to be able to do some assembling and refining to get off a planet I'm trying to find my Mac plate that is down there. Yes, he did, Frodo. Um, I am not sure how rare they will be, but I, I have, I have seen some in my testings. I think they are pretty well defended, though, that, um... Did we get all the blocks off? We did, no. Alright, let's go uh, to the northeast while we're, uh... <laughs> was like three kilometers something trying to <laughs> this game is all this scenario is not good for people at one 200 percent that's some knee slapping music right now <laughs> 
I found it perfect. The music was like perfect for the moment I was taking off. Like, go, go, go. You're going much faster now, yes? As in with the music, you mean? <laughs> let's wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Let's wait, yeah. Now, where is this piece of scrap that popped up on my screen? Is that it? I am three kilometers away. Do you guys remember how far it was? Was it four? <laughs> I don't know where it is now. Oh. It's not that one, though. That was that one, abandoned settlement. Hmm. What's the opposite of northeast? I'm terrible at this. You can paint the rover red and go faster. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure anymore now. We'll see. Southwest. Yes, this could be an oxygen generator. Yeah, it, it's a settlement for everything. I'm not sure. I think that might be a bug in the uh, mod. I know what this is. I know what this is. Medical components. Maybe get in. Okay. Two medical components. That's nice. That means I can fix another survival kit. Nice. Anything else I want to have from you? But this was not what we saw on the... Um, I got a feeling they uh, fixed that um, heavy black the um, metal grits in this. Let me just check these green ones to be hundred percent sure. Yeah.
We got two met. That's good. All right. Let's go back home. And maybe with some luck, this thing pops up. You guys say it's southwest, no? That's southwest. That is home. So I'm going to drive in that way for a while until we get the southwest line. Uh, uh, XGPS mod could be useful. It sets a GPS at a distance from a player. We need to go further. I'm trying to get to the southwest line while we're driving back home. So hopefully we come across the... Um, across that settlement that we just uh, passed by. Because I'm pretty sure it was much closer. There we go. That's the southwest line home. Let's see if anything pops up. I'm going to drive a little bit on this hill and see if anything shows up like a marker. Because we are now about a distance that this marker popped up. Three kilometers, I think, 3.2. I don't know. We're now three kilometers from home, so we're already too far. Okay, well, it is what it is. All right, let's go home. It's weird, though, that sometimes these things pop up and then... Most likely it's because a very small thing, like, a, you know, a little small rover or something. Wouldn't surprise me it was a survival rover.
That is a quad bike. I don't advise riding it. You mean one that you can find and then fix, you mean, Grumpy Uncle? Batteries recharge, handbrake on. All right. Yeah, I forgot about this. All right, so we got three engines here. How much metal grids do we have? None. No. Power cell, we have... Five. So, we got one that has no middle grit at all. This one and this one had middle grits because we grinded down this one. Let's check the ones outside. So, this means we probably will have to go and hunt for some metal grits. These both have all metal grits. Need motors as well for this. So we got two of these in here. We need 90 effing motors. Yeah, we're not off ground yet. We're not off the ground yet. Um, how many motors we have? Motors. We got 45, 47. Power cells, how much did we have again? Five. How much was this battery in the back there? Have you found any of the hangers? Yes. Um, these are more... This one, how much do you need? More than four. Okay, I don't know. We'll need more batteries, okay. So yeah, my plan was first to actually do some work at the place here, but now that we got all these engines, I might actually want to go and check for... Um, 
see if we can find engines, uh, motors, metal grids. That would be nice. And then uh, next time we might look at a little bit of sorting here. This is what we call a scrap heap. But it's useful scrap. It's all useful scrap. Don't throw it away. There was something seven kilometers that way. Man, I need to I need to hit a crane or something. A crane would be great because a crane also has a battery. I think it moved. Hey, Akini, welcome. I didn't even hack these doors yet. We do have a hydrogen engine here. Which seems to be full. We also have a tank. Which should be full. Oh no, this one is empty. There we go, there we go, there we go. South, southwest, six kilometers. It's almost near my starting position. Anything else? This place? Maybe, because the display sometimes is needed for a uh, car container. Girders, 10. That's it now.
Was it so south southwest? That's what it was. South southwest, six kilometers. It better be good. Uh, got the blueprint for the orbital administration building somewhere laying around. It's missing in the projector. Uh, you can find it uh, in the uh, backup ship. I forgot what the name was. Um, I did go there in one of my streams because I broke my projectors. I will load the correct one up in the workshop in a few minutes. And then ask Peeps to build the station here with scraps. Um, does it update? Akine, if you're already doing the workshop, started it. find treasure yet we found some good treasure if we could find like a good set of motors and metal grids that would be amazing hey Jean welcome Hey, no worries. Lurk away, man. Thank you for uh, hanging around. And have a good weekend to you as well. What's this? Damn it. Why is that an AI block? Hmm? Why is that an AI block? Should that disappear maybe? I think this is activating the, um, the beacon maybe? I don't know. Let's try to do this very carefully. We are using the advanced enhanced grinder, so come on, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> there we go. No power cell in you. No power cell in you. Nothing in you. Uh, I think we have enough beacons now. So let's get this away. Nothing in you. 
Uh, hello, okay, uh, hello, um, chaotic. Welcome. Nothing. Piece of shit. <laughs> This is a waste of my time! Uh, one large steel tube. No weapons, anything. Uh, if you target a block and hold, you can grit without. Yeah, the problem is not the gridding. The problem is that I... I didn't want to lose the power cells in my battery. Uh, no large steel tubes in you. Blast doors. Um, do we just take one with us? So, um, I'm gonna grind this one down. I don't want to keep this one. I have enough with one engine. Then that we have two spare engines. Uh, I'll take this gyro with me as well. And um, let's see if there's anything falling out of you. Yes. What's that? A bottle of. I don't know. Power cells. Power catch. Okay. <sighs> yeah, the gyro I saw, but I don't know how many we have already now, gyros. was it very disappointing seven kilometers of nothing there was something on the other side of our house which is um was five kilometers at that time so it's probably the one that was pointing again to the position where we was trying to see it andy scott thank you so much for subscribing and welcome to the beetle hive I think there's quite a lot of people subscribing since I released the Space Engineers video. So it could be the, that these are also subscribing for the video instead of the stream. I'm wondering if I should lengthen my rover, put another uh, set in front, another set of wheels, 
and do a little bit of a longer road trip further away, like 20 kilometers away from home. See if we can get some new things spawning in. To be honest, I've been really considering doing that uh, large grid rover, but then you need also large grid batteries and something to charge them. Oh, there we go. Five kilometers. 5.7 kilometers. That means... Um, two kilometers up beyond my my um, to the north uh, I was talking about you and Meha's show today there's no VR in uh, spaces in these is there I think it would be very frustrating to be VRing in space engineers I don't know. Would it would it be? Constantly welding. Psst. <laughs> you have to buy you have to buy the one of those laser caps. Those welding caps just for this game. I'd give my left kidney to walk through my worlds in VR. There is a mod. There is a mod. I think Valheim actually has a really good mod for the VR. I saw somebody playing several games and I'm actually really enjoying his playthroughs. I think we just saw it popping up on the screen. Uh, gonna check that out. Yeah, I, if I find the link, chaotic, um, because I it, I need to check again which channel it is. Uh, oh, 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 that's a good shot. That's what I like. Look at that. Ooh, baby. Yes, yes, yes. That's a large cargo container, guys, and a turret, but... Wait, 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 okay. I think the turret has no battery. Your searchlight is crap, as in, it doesn't point anywhere. <laughs> okay, there's no battery on this thing.
Uh, what button did you say again, uh, Shadow? If you target and hold right mouse button, you can grind. Yeah, good. I, I, I knew there was a different metal grids. Zero. Oh, you got metal grids from the... Uh, yeah, 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 true. You get metal grids from the... Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Magazines. Do you, do you call this magazines? Yep, magazine. Yeah, we've got uh, another power cell, which is nice. More nice stuff. So yeah, we got a car container. I wouldn't say this is great. As there is no metal grids in it, but this thing doesn't weigh anything though. We can easily pick this up with our um, with our rover. Uh, forgetting a pot couple of boxes no i i did check all of them no let me just grind them down ah i forgot these maybe the ones on top eh? Ah, uh, no, this is one freight. This is the same block, uh, Dennis. This has a 3,000 liter, so this is two freight blocks together in one. Cannot detach, and that's probably because I'm gonna have to um, break down those. I'm gonna grind down these doors, then I can detach the uh, container. The uh, forever grinding doors. Yeah, yeah. By the way, this is an enhanced grinder. These are definitely the best doors to use in uh, your ship to be protected for uh, raids. Uh, Dennis, if you check the description of the video, you should have a link to... Although, I think you have a link to the workshop. I don't know now. Is it to the scenario or is it to the mod list? I think I'm gonna build my whole ship out of doors. This can take a few bullets as well. I think this is stronger than a... Uh, I think this is stronger than um, a heavy armor block.
Never go to the doors. Yeah, but that's what I'm thinking. Um, uh, Steven, if I build my ship all out of doors, good luck getting through. You can do the scenario in one go and that's it. Uh, yes, you won't. You will not land on this planet, though. Uh, Dennis, it will be a different planet. I did make uh, a planet separately for this, so I have a different planet to play it on. But you can play on Pertem, which is actually, I think, a great planet to do um, the scrapyard scenario on. Strongest man alive. Instead of grinding up the top, we're gonna grind the bottom. By the way, what did uh, Akini say about doors? Simply knock and wait for Beep to open. Because he's too polite. Mm. Depends. Hello? What do you want? I'm here to sell metal grids. I'm not that interested. <laughs> Container is too big. All right, let me uh, first fix you so I can check what's in here. Uh, Igush, welcome as well to the stream. Good to see you. Right, this is a hard one to find. Okay, we'll go. Right. What's in here? We got a weapon rack. There's no weapons in it. Look at all these weapons. Not a single weapon. There should be no weapons in the weapon rack if there's no weapons in it. I'm just gonna grind it all down so it's gone. Inventory full. 
I need to make a little ramp. Yeah. I need to make a little ramp. We did it. We took away the ramp because we could get in there, but now. Um. There we go. I'm going to take one here away. And we're going to make a little ramp to get on there. I'm so effing tired trying to get on that wheel. This jump was ridiculous. It was flimsy and finicky. Made a huge bang. Uh, you have to get used to flying, Dennis. That's for sure. It will be... Uh doing some weird stuff if you're not careful all right we got our battery is there a, a hydrogen engine there question is would that be a good idea to take with me or should I just grind it down Yeah, I'm I'm thinking about what I'm doing. Am I going to take the engine with me or am I just going to take the battery cell, the power cell with me? Uh, Louis, I have. We have already a home base. That's what we're doing right now. We're going to take this with me to home. I think we are fine. Do we have hydrogen to run it yet? No. But I'm thinking as soon as I find a... A uh, oxygen generator, we can... Well, no, you know what? Let's go. Let's just take it with us. Um, let's leave it for the moment like this. We'll... Um, because if I find an O2 generator, it's going to be a small one. So I prefer them to just use the small generator.
Um, it would be kind of funny with a little robot that collects things for you. There is actually a robot that you can have as a mod that does the welding for you and stuff. I think more like a little annoying helper robot. Like Garrett's? Who's Garrett? There's no Garrett in Starfield. But that's... F uh, damn it, what's his name again? Uh, Vasco. The robot is Vasco. And then you have the... Um, what you call him? The... The annoying fan. Where are you resting? <laughs> Stupid comp <laughs> Barrett! Ah, uh, Barrett! Oh, who's Garrett? I don't know Garrett.
I'm not sure if I like this comparison. Uh, there's a lot of smil small, small tubes. <laughs> small steel tubes in here. What was that? Do we need them? That's going to clip in the wheels, do you? Don't you think so? We'll test, uh, Steven. <laughs> Does seem to. Although it doesn't seem to be complaining about it. Nope, it doesn't complain. All right, let's go home with our large container and let's I think we're gonna drive a little bit more careful this time uh, Let's go home Smeal tubes small smeal smoops <laughs> I almost feel like a Swedish chef smooch give us kaboo Um, I have no idea where to drive with this thing now, thanks to this effing f fog. Although we don't talk like him. It's a steep, steep, steep. Go, 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 go. No break. With a shift. Booski, booski, booski. Smut, 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 smut. Today we're gonna make Swedish meatballs. <laughs> It doesn't really matter for the moment, no, because I cannot weld this up yet. We need 24 metal grids and there is only 4 in this. That means I only have 12, so it doesn't matter to try and... So let's just dump this off. Yo, Bow Chaser, good to see you. How are you?
Wait, is the Mac plate connected to somehow? No, it shouldn't. Ah, here we go. Hulk smash! So, I didn't get anything I wanted. I mean, I like the large car container, but uh, I'm pressing the wrong button to switch lock and then grab, not grab and then switch lock. Um. Uh, no, they don't. And I also don't have enough motors, uh, Frodo. So this should be it. <laughs> I feel like I feel like the airport doing the lot the luggage. <laughs> Goes up there. Uh, let me just hack these doors in the meantime. Let us get this over and done with. Yes, either Frodo, either I have not enough or either I have insanely too much. I think we got like what? 27,000 metal grids ready to be welding up the floor of the spaceport and platform.
Not enough. Yeah, not enough for Planetfall. Should I should I consider building a um, a space elevator for a uh, platform? I mean, it shouldn't be too hard to make a space elevator after we did the the drill. Especially we don't because we don't need to bother about time and drilling. Um small cargo uh, will be almost indestructible with all that heavy armor frodo it's insane it's, it's it's i don't know i don't this no no words I'm gonna keep this as my selection and we're gonna put this in here. If I would extend this, that shouldn't be too much of a problem still, no. I have enough weight in the back, even if my wheels hang over this uh, piece. Yeah, I was thinking about extending it quickly, but the sun is uh, quicker than me. Okay, y you know what? Let's just... Leave it like that. I got... I got everything with me to rebuild the uh, pistons. Let's go. Do we go away from the sun so we have longer day? Let's go away from the sun. So. I'm going to take away my starting position for the moment. So I only have one point to look at as distance we
on the road again. Did we not check this already? Stupid sign. Waste of my time. Wait, is that a gun? It is a gun. Two metal grits inside again. No weapon, no ammo, but two metal grits. Noise, noise, noise. Uh, I'm not going to keep batteries anymore. I'm done with them. There. Metal grid block. Look at that. Metal grid block. Let me just grind these away just to be sure. Yep. We got metal grids from some blocks. Oh, finally. this place and this this is a solar panel no this is a solar panel large grid solar panel
Um, I think we have enough small steel tubes. Small meat moves. Um, for a while. Do I just keep driving with this solar panel? We can always move it around if I need it. I think with the aerodynamics mod, I might be able to fly with that. <laughs> it, I think, you know, an aerodynamics mod would not be a bad idea during Scrapyard Survival. If you don't care about your flyers afterwards, because they probably crash a lot. Excuse me. Might have not have heard it, but well, had a little hiccup. Um, I think this planet is sixty kilometers diameter, or is it a radius? diameter no no radius I don't know anymore I'm just thinking about what is the uh, amount of kilometers to drive around this planet ice morty thank you so much for subscribing and welcome to the fuel hive Nothing is popping up yet, but we are now six kilometers definitely away from our starting point, so something should start spawning in. There's something there, something that we probably already gr grinded down. I just go and check it out for sure. This is the kind of music playing in a truck stop diner in Texas. Ah, oh, that's the bridge. I don't think we found anything there. Or we did find everything we needed there.
Let me just double check, but I think we did everything here. Oh, there we go. A band settlement. Straight ahead. Yeah, yeah, we did this. Was that three kilometers or something? Now I don't know where it is, of course. And if you're getting close by, then the uh, beacon disappears. And then... So... We could be completely lost now. Especially because of this weather. It is set up to detect uh, everything. Let me just double check, but it should be set up because I might be confusing it with my other playthrough. Um, detects rockets, none. Targets, friends, no. But enemies, yes. Neutrals, yes. Stations, yes. Radius 120 meters. Target options. What? Power systems, maybe? I think default is the smartest one. Radius 800 meters. So. I think it's there. I think it's there. Another atmospheric thruster. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think I should install that improved spotlight uh, from uh, Splitsy.
All right. Now it's, I think, metal grids because this is gonna allow me to quite lift quite a lot with two thrusters upwards. That's pretty good. I call shenanigans. <laughs> Jealousy. I would never have expected this from you guys. I've been drinking quite a lot of the Avanti. I'm just getting hungry now suddenly. And I actually ate just before we started streaming, so... <sighs> so
I go home again? Where's the sun? It's about to go down now. Let's go home. Keep going! Keep going! <laughs> Alright. Let's keep going. South. Let's go west. We and Cap, welcome. Good to see you. Appreciate that. Hundred likes? I doubt it. I doubt it. On a space tr a space in the new stream. <laughs> Who do you think I am? Splitsy? <laughs> uh. Um, twenty four. The danger by uh, with driving so close to the mountains is that things can spawn in the mountains. Na, 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 na. Uh, does this not have less impact damage? I don't think so. It's the same. I mean, we already broke one of our thrusters in the previous episode. I have to say, I'm pretty happy with this rover. It has been doing pretty well, like keeping stable. And being able to carry a lot of stuff, so... You'll be fine as long as you don't accidentally install Reavers. Uh, Reavers has been on my list one day, but not now. I don't think I will install Reavers on the playthrough as well I'm doing uh, now with um, Proxima. I think that's going to be like one I'm going to install later in one of the next seasons. Uh, welcome, Lucas. Good to see you. How are you? Do we uh, cross over here? Let me just check. Yeah, we could cross over there. No, no. Yeah, it seems like everybody kind of likes it, uh, Ancap. I do feel like it was a perfect song for... Um, um, a perfect genre of song for this kind of uh, scenario. When is the next No Man's Sky stream? Oh, there we go. We got one. Uh, southwest. Well, not Southwest. More like Southwest, West Southwest. Um... When an update drops, maybe. When there is any news. Love playing against Reavers. Yeah, I I don't know if I want to play the scrap 
yards style against the Reavers, Steven. Just imagine me trying to survive against Reavers with only one survival kit and no able, no possibilities to build anything. I have to scrap it all. I think, I think the Reavers are a little bit too much for me now. But I think it would be cool to have them appear in the next season. For example, I cross through their, uh, you know, their territory or something. Um, there we go. Is that the one? No, it was not seven kilometers. But we got something seven kilometers west or west, west west east west there's something there two kilometers away and we're gonna have something to the west as well Sounds like a good use for metal grids. Well, I only have five metal grids for the moment, Akine, so. <laughs> I should pass by making Planetfall scenario next time, like passing by, picking up this metal grids. So, seven kilometers that way. Uh, let me just double check. If I check that way, that's like north, northwest, northwest. Oh, you SOB. What is this? <sighs> is that a little helicopter? Looks like a helicopter. Uh, flight mode. We have all the blocks now, so I don't need to care about that. And set lights. Oh, all detected. Yep, that we take. I think we're gonna install you. So west northwest is where we can find another settlement. West northwest. Um Well it has detected components, that's good. There's containers in there as well.
Um. Um, do I have any access ports on the side? No. we go adding the auto attack to make you just unhappy think so <laughs> I think I actually said you could find ice here underneath. I think I actually said I think you can find ice under the red. So that means we could definitely make a, a drill to um, fill up a hydrogen tank if we find a oxygen generator. All right, seven kilometers. That means about 11 kilometers from home. That's not a bad. We'll see because this is mountains. It feels like a pretty distant drive. It was north, northwest, north. No. Ah. Uh. West, northwest? No, 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 no. It was not west, northwest. No. Was it that way? Hmm. Let's give it let's give it a second, maybe it pops up. There we go. West northwest, yeah. Okay, that's correct. <laughs> Oh, 
All right. Seven kilometers or six now. West, northwest. Let's go to the mountains. Look, iron. <laughs> Oh my effing god, this is gonna be so fucking... And yeah, okay, that's uh... I'm sorry guys, that was not the intention to uh, use that word right now, but um... It uh, it dropped. <clears throat> Alright, let's um... Go over that the ridge there. Iron? No, not that one. <laughs> but, uh, funny enough, iron also starts with FE. Why is the rum always gone? Oh my god, this is gonna be a, a rough ride, especially with my thruster in the front there. We don't have our parachutes to save us this time. But look at that view. Look at that view. Mm. All right, let's go down. Maybe we're a little bit too eager here. I think there's definitely a big difference if you would do this on a server, all this jumping and driving around. You have a good voice. Thank you. Um, kind of lost now, but it should be somewhere uh, before the mountain ridge. Oh, cobalt! It's raining. Noise. Now, if you would be so kind to pop up again, I think maybe there. Can make metal grids. If only we could make. Um. <clears throat> It should be here somewhere. Uh, 
Okay, there's definitely ice under these red patches. So that means we should be able to fill up a hydrogen tank very easily. Oh, there it is. I see it. It's a hangar. There might be something interesting there. Except for a gun. I think I actually see the gun. Uh, let's go from the side. It's, it's longer light than I expected it would be. Wait, is this the one that we already passed by? No, it couldn't be, no. I don't see a gun. I think we were here already. Now, this is not the place we had to be because it shouldn't ro this should not show up red anymore. So there is another build nearby. Gold. That's something there, maybe. Might be just a rock. Nothing. I wonder if I would install an antenna or something on this. Oh, that. Oh, here it is. Here it is. There we go. This is not the same building, no. No. <laughs> Just drove in a big circle. Turrets. Now, if I'm correct, these turrets can aim down. Ah. 
Ah, that's a good weapon. Uh, heat fence. Do we need... Can we build heat fence? Do we need heat fence? Oh, look at this. What's that? What's that? Go away. Is that a... Is it an O2 generator or is that just a... It's a medium car container. And a battery. Let me just drive closer. Um, all right. First of all, let's check. I cannot. Can we make a heat? We can make heat vents, so I don't need to bother about that anyway. Let's go. I had made him drive in circles for the past three hours. Medical components. Uh, dead engineer. Thank you. Uh, grind down this engineer. Three medical components. Inventory full. Yeah, okay. Okay, I think we're set for uh, a survival kit even, if you ever want to go to space with that. Uh, yes, but I got a whole bunch of medical components now. Inventory full. Me, 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 me. Okay, no. Uh, hopla. the ammo oh wow that was a great jump hepla. and hepla. <laughs> hepla. 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 
What is this? See, this is what I mean. This far jump, and then suddenly you jump just like kilometers. Hot fair, damn it, Alright, I think we're going to have to do some reorganizing. Alright, can we grind this power cell down? Of Honestly, I think a battery hacking should be easier. I understand not wanting to give people the possibility to just abuse the power consumption. But, uh, yeah, it is a pain to be able not to hack a battery without losing a power cell. Um, okay. Where's your trash gone? What's a trash? Yeah, where's my trusted gone? What? my thruster gone Maybe you find it? No, I don't know where I came from. I'm not gonna... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna learn my lessons here and it is... Yeah, Truster is gone. I don't know where it is. 
It didn't explode, otherwise things would have broken down. But nothing is broken, it just disappeared. Two thrusters. I don't think I'm going to be able to um, find it. Let me see, control panel. Search light. Search for propulsion. I'm really confused because we didn't hear an explosion, nothing happened. This thing just hanged, hung down. I'm wondering if this thing just pushed it all to the ground. I don't have thrust removal enabled, so... There's definitely something on with my, my rover again. But it might be because there's things loose on top. Let me just... Um...
Hmm. Alright, we got everything with us except for the stupid thruster. Now we need it. Uh, Energy low. You lost it on a downslope. Did it explode? Because I didn't hear anything explode. What are you aiming at? At a wheel? I mean, is this propulsion? Kinda? Oh, uh, look! Propulsion! Oh! Look! Another propulsion! There's one more propulsion! There! Look! Yeah. Uh, now all the propulsion is in the air. Okay. Coming to this building. All right. Let's let's have a quick peek. Hey, Fred. Welcome. You had to trust it when you were on the ridge before heading down the valley. So I'm assuming that it was or it was not here. Here we still had the thruster. Then we drove like this. And we drove over here. We saw this, we came down. We drove down here. And that's it. No pits, no dents in the ground. So this thing did not explode, did not make any damage. It just disappeared.
as far as I know, this is just gonna be a... I don't think we should try to figure it out. Sort closest by you. Um, closest to player. This engine is gone. No idea where it went. It wouldn't surprise me it just glitched to the floor. Well. That's it. Bye. So, lessons for next time is grind down the metal grids before you put it on your rover. Even if you lose your engine, you keep your metal grids. Well, yeah. I trusted in you. Alright, I think we're going to go home anyway and uh, drop our loot off and that's going to be it for today. Um, uh, let's see how much metal grids we have when we go home. See if we can make a drone. And uh, do some scouting maybe with a drone next time. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, Paul, see you later, man. Appreciate you jumping in. Uh, I mean, I'm assuming you're leaving. There's a building there, which we already did. So we definitely have been scouting around this place.
Magnesium? I know if I would build a defense block on it, the defense block can find longer distance now. Would that affect my spotlight? I know it affects the guns. the chill road back home We're gonna have to go to the left of the mountain, I would say. I don't want to drive through this again. Uh, let's go and stop at that settlement. Uh, it, it might be something good and we don't want to waste the opportunity. So let's drive to that four kilometers, see what it is. And I think uh, we're going to end it off there. Let's see if 
we're lucky there. If you could ping me one more time, that would be nice. Baby, ping me one more time. Yeah, I don't know. I think we're just gonna have to uh, stop it here. It looks like it might be in the mountains. Alright guys, I think we're gonna call it here, and that's gonna be it for today. The advantage is I don't need to drive home because I can just stop the stream. There, let me get out because the stupid camera doesn't allow me to... Um... There we go. appreciate you all being here thank you so much for joining and hanging out uh we will be back of course next week on friday and saturday for more space engineers if you want to stick around um uh, if you want to check me out on my second channel i always am streaming there as well not entirely sure what's going to happen on monday but if you want you can always come and check me out um then I have the release of that video that I'm going to have to edit now in the next few days and hopefully release it. And yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be uh, some work for me to edit all that into one hour. So we'll see what we do with that. But anyway, thank you so much all for joining. Have a good one. Have a good one and I will see you next time. Bye bye.